Hearing loss is easy to ignore. There's no pain, pressure, or bleeding as hearing loss from noise exposure occurs. It happens gradually and easily ignored until it's too late. There's an estimated 33 million people in the U.S. with hearing loss enough to affect their daily activities. Occupation-related noise exposure accounts for 11 million cases of hearing loss. Another 36 to 37 million people suffer from tinnitus, which is a chronic ringing in the ears. About one-third of Americans between ages of 65 and 74 have hearing problems. About one-half, who are 85 and older, have hearing loss. If left untreated, hearing problems can worsen. Hearing loss may cause you to miss out on talks with family and friends. You may find it difficult to hear on the phone. You may not catch the important words of your doctor. Hearing problems can make you feel embarrassed, upset, and lonely. Your friends and family may think you're confused, uncaring, or difficult if you can't hear well. On the other hand, people who are hard of hearing can often ignore others, and they'll just think you're hard of hearing. It's called selective hearing in most marriages. Before we can understand hearing loss, we must first understand what hearing entails. When we hear sounds, we are really interpreting patterns of movement of air molecules. Hearing is a series of events where the ear converts sound waves into electrical signals that are sent to the brain and interpreted as sound. The ear has three main parts. Outer ear, middle ear, and inner ear. The outer ear opens into an entryway called the ear canal. The eardrum separates the ear canal from the middle ear. Small bones in the middle ear help transfer sound to the inner ear. The inner ear contains the auditory or hearing nerve which leads to the brain. When noise is too loud, it begins to kill the nerve endings in the inner ear. As the exposure time to loud noises increases, more and more nerve endings are destroyed. As the number of nerve endings decrease, so does your hearing. There is no known way to restore life to dead nerve endings. The damage is permanent. The healthy ear processes sound frequencies from 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz. Sound frequencies between 500 Hz and 4000 Hz include the frequencies most important for speech. Intensity of sound is measured in decibels. A person with hearing within normal range can hear sounds ranging from 0 to 140 decibels. A whisper is around 30 decibels. Conversations are usually 45 to 50 decibels. Sounds that are louder than 90 decibels can be uncomfortable to hear.